Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is happening across the tropics. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at what is currently going on as well as the long term, maybe for the next two weeks or so. Uh, models are sniffing at something possibly developing and uh, potentially as we progress into the month of December. And so many persons want the hurricane season to be over with so that they can focus on the upcoming holidays and all of that however it seems as though that might not be the case note the word might because what is being forecasted now doesn't necessarily uh has to be the outcome for the next several days but nevertheless we have to observe what is happening and see uh if it is likely that this is actually going to be taking place and so before i go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right and so let us go ahead and return to that satellite imagery we're seeing here that quite a bit is going on across the western half of the caribbean basin we see quite a bit of activity in the northwestern section just off cuba and there is a stationary front in the area that is helping to induce all of that activity and as for parts of cuba hispaniola and jamaica it is mainly all that cloudiness that is seen with some areas of showers and maybe some minor thunderstorms but nothing too major is happening in the area right now and then looking in the south caribbean we see that blob of all of those showers and thunderstorms and that is actually impacting nicaragua right now so uh there is a low pressure area within the region and uh, that is helping to induce all of that persistent activity because there has been persistent shower activity across the south caribbean but as we look to the eastern half of the basin we're not seeing too much going on so looking at a closer view here mainly just some passing clouds uh my along with them a shower or two nothing major at this point in time and so as for some areas such as the grenadines grenada trinidad tobago and also parts of venezuela uh, they're not seen on this map and no i'm not leaving you guys out here's a view of the area and we're seeing here that it is mainly the same story just some passing clouds maybe a shower or two but nothing major or persistent is in the area as of right now in terms of shower and thunderstorm activity but most of that activity is over in the western part of the region and so we're going to be taking a look at why things are so quiet across the eastern part of the basin very shortly but now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the current sea surface temperatures across the region and we're seeing here that for the Caribbean we're mainly seeing 29 so 29 degrees Celsius isotherm uh, extended across majority of the region we see that the Gulf of Mexico is definitely cooling uh, if there's anything to uh, develop in the area it might but the ocean temperatures are not too favorable especially near the gulf coast taste we see 24 uh 20 21 degrees celsius and tropical cyclones require at least 26 or 26 and a half degrees celsius in order to intensify and so uh, as for the caribbean Though the sea surface temperatures are conducive, there are other factors such as the wind shear and the amount of moisture that play a role in the development of a tropical cyclone. And so as we progress into the latter part of the hurricane season, things typically get more quiet. We don't see much activity, maybe a storm or two or a subtropical storm out there. But in terms of storms affecting areas, uh, that is not always seen. That isn't something that is seen every hurricane season, such as last year for example only one storm developed in uh, october and there were no storms in november but this year is completely different we're seeing more activity in the month of november all right and so now let's go ahead and look at this water vapor map and we're seeing here that we see those yellows and some oranges and that is indicating abundant dry air so all that dry air is extended across sections of the eastern caribbean uh including parts of hispaniola 
Venezuela, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Lesser Antilles, also parts of northern Venezuela. So all those areas right now are probably having hazy skies, and that would limit rainfall activity as well. So where we have so much dry air, there isn't typically a whole lot of rainfall because uh, those showers, they develop best in unstable conditions where we have a lot of moisture. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the potential for us to see something in the Caribbean as we progress into the final few days of the hurricane season. And so this is the GFS map. And so this is a map showing those isobars and those colors are indicating the precipitation rate in millimeters per hour. And so when those isobars, those black lines are in a circular manner and the pressure is at least 10, 13 millibars or lower, uh, we could be looking at a potent system uh, in terms of a tropical cyclone. So let's see what the model is expecting and the, uh, the forecast time is right within that area and so as we're progressing into the end of this week not seeing too much happening we see some activity over in the gulf of mexico uh, nothing very very major developing in the region however as we head to next weekend we see that a strong cold front is expected to make its way from north america down into the caribbean and so the remnants from that front we see some development uh, just in the central caribbean so that is quite interesting there seeing a storm around that time in the Caribbean and so as I said this doesn't have to be the outcome but it's something worth paying attention to because uh, the, it is not impossible because as I said earlier sea surface temperatures are conducive it's just that other conditions other factors have to be conducive as well to allow for us to really see some development but things are likely to change guys we're talking about something over 10 days out and uh, there can be be many changes uh, within that time frame so what we're seeing now is definitely not solid but it would not really be surprising uh, if conditions actually are supportive enough of something developing within the area so this isn't uh, some type of warning it is just a heads up to say that hey the hurricane season is not yet finished and here we have models expecting that we're going to be seeing some development as we progress into the final days of the season and then looking at the euro model now so euro is not showing too much definitely showing that activity in the gulf of mexico some moisture within the area making its way over florida and then we uh we don't see too much happening for a while but then eventually we're seeing where that front makes its way out of the u.s of course and we definitely see some leftover moisture so euro doesn't go as far out as the gfs it stops at just 10 days out uh so uh, the gfs goes out much further but we definitely see where euro is expecting that hey we're going to be seeing some of this moisture in the caribbean but in terms of possible development looking at the ensemble tracks uh here we are seeing a few members is uh, showing something potentially developing in the region we're not seeing much but it is something so uh, it's not that the operational model is showing some major activity and then there's nothing for the ensemble members we're definitely seeing some members uh, picking up on something within the area so again this is not solid but here we have yet another model sniffing at something possibly developing the Canadian model now so this model is definitely expecting development as we're going to be heading into the final week of the hurricane season so uh this is around the 28th the 29th of the month and we're definitely seeing all that development that cmc is expecting in the vicinity of the caribbean so this is very interesting up ahead and uh we just uh we just have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be guys but as i said it doesn't necessarily has to be the outcome uh, but the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Owen and uh, if we do have development then that would be the 15th storm of the Atlantic hurricane season for this year so let's see what's going to be happening but of course guys uh, there is no reason to be panicking or anything of the sort right now uh, this is just to show you guys what is expected and what could possibly happen but it is not guaranteed and even if there will be a storm in your area the most you can do is to just prepare and hope for the best and so guys i will keep you updated as we progress into the next several days so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be otherwise